In this video, we'll be creating the KIM record uh, that's required in order to make sure that the uh, emails that get sent out from uh, Google uh, have a specific signature that can be verified by the recipient address to improve the delivery of the emails. So uh, to get started, we're going to go to uh, Google Admin Console for uh, for our client at this time, specifically Kinspro Logistics, and we're going to go to Apps. And then once we're in Apps, we're going to go to Google Workspace and Gmail. So you have the uh, DKIM authentication. So we're going to click this arrow right here. This is pretty much where we can generate a new record for uh, for this domain. Uh, we can actually see that uh, you can select the specific domain that you need um, to generate it for. But this time we're just doing it for Kins Logistics. Uh, generate new record. And uh, you have different options. Uh, the longer option is better, more secure. Uh, we uh, don't have other uh, records uh, with the prefix of Google, so we're going to keep Google and we'll click Generate. So that's pretty much all that there is to it. Now we have the actual uh, domain um, text record name and the value. Um, we're going to go to our uh, DNS and we're going to add a record. So it's going to be a text record. Host name is this. And um, this is going to be our value. And we click Save. Start authentication. And let's just have a quick look here to make sure that it's uh, verified. So yeah, we have a ver verification of it. All right, so now we're going to be adding SPF record. We're navigating back to the uh, domain uh, management console. So sometimes what you have is you have multiple um, accounts that are sent an email and it's important to make sure that uh, we don't add uh, two SPF records. So here's one, um, mailgun.org. So we're going to update it. I'm actually going to add another one here. So from Google, uh, we're going to retrieve their SPF uh, VSPF1 include this. So we're just going to copy this final stage over here. And we're going to add it space and add it just like that. One thing is that we actually need to remove all here because all is already included in the, in the last statement over here. Let's save it. Uh, SPF, you need to be very careful with SPF records because if you have other systems that would send out your emails, then you need to make sure that you include them into the uh, SPF record. Okay, so the last one would be DMARC. Actually, fairly simple. I'm going to add a record. So we're actually going to be... Um, uh, I changed it up. We're going to quarantine it. Um, so... Um, uh, P is basically a connection that is going to do it can uh, you can have none which will allow all of the mail to go through you can quarantine so the suspicious email will go to your spam or <clears throat> you can reject the suspicious email suspicious email altogether make sure you modify the email correctly to the right email address okay so I'm going to copy this so this is our value actually so I'm going to go Click Add Record, Text Record, so this is the value, and uh, the host is the mark. Click Save. So we have added our DMARC. Let's have a look. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to update it right now or not. Let's run some checks, because sometimes it takes a while for it to, to update. Okay, there we go. So the mark is uh, is configured now. All right. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this should be sufficient for you to make sure that all of the emails that get sent and delivered are uh, protected against uh, any spam attacks.